Today, I'm going to pass along some of the basic techniques that I teach my patients for controlling their urges, the four Ds. Hi, my name is Luke Vu, PhD. I'm a clinical psychologist, mental health expert, helping young men overcome digital addiction, depression, and anxiety. Use the four Ds to beat urges. These techniques can be used by anyone to improve their sense of self-control and help you stay on track. Quick disclaimer, I'm not just psych, this isn't treatment, and if you need a psychologist, you should find a registered, qualified psych in your area. So when someone comes through the door, a good number of them have attempted to quit something and have failed. Most of the time, I find that they're only using two tools to control themselves, harsh self-talk and distraction. So part of the definition of having a gambling problem, a porn problem, or gaming addiction is the difficulty in quitting and the repeated failed attempts at trying to get your addiction under control. Truth is, is when you attempt to reduce your use, you encounter urges. So these urges can be triggered by something you hear or see, and they can also just occur independently. Urges are part of the equation of keeping your use under control and also in preventing relapse. So for someone with a gambling problem, urges tend to sound like this. I feel like I'm going for a lucky spin. I'm super stressed. I'll play the pokies to help me relax. For those with a gaming problem, it sounds a little bit more like this. Just one more game and I'll start my assignment. Ah, oh, it's already 5 a.m. I might as well play till morning. I'm so bored, I just play one round. And for those with a porn problem, just a little bit more porn, then I'll go to sleep. It helps me sleep anyway. Look, nobody will know. I'll just check out something new. Now, I've got to find that perfect clip. So these might be the typical thoughts when you experience an urge, desire, compulsion, or pull whatever you want to call it. So there's a harsh reality here. The more we act on our urges, the stronger they become. So partly because habits are strengthened by repetition and partly because we reward the negative pattern with the pleasure of use and enforce the beliefs which support the urge. Now odds are that you fought your urges at some point in the past with self-talk and willpower, such as, come on, you don't need this right now. Get yourself together, be strong. Now this works. But it's often pretty tiring to only rely on willpower. So it's worthwhile to build some other tools that will help you manage and support you to surf those urges out. And I call them the four Ds. So take a deep breath. It sounds simple, but it's often overlooked. Take four deep breaths. Deep belly abdominal breaths. Observe and accept that you're having an urge and attempt to let the urge pass. Sometimes our urges are impulsive and there's a sense of haste and agitation. Breathing in this way forces your body to slow down. It buys you time, allowing you to attempt a different action or to counter the thought. Clients who can ground themselves can deal with low intensity urges in this way. Distract yourself. Sometimes our urges are triggered by the sight, sound, or memory of our crutch. And when we really analyze the situation, we only need to distract ourselves for a few minutes for when the urge peaks. Now, this can be a substitute activity, listening to your favorite song, eating a nice meal, or even leaving the room for 20 minutes. Delay, then delay. So this is a moderately advanced trick, essentially Jedi mind tricking yourself using expert level procrastination. So when an urge is unbearable, you make a mental promise to use tomorrow night at 8 p.m. and you'll notice that the pressure might be off for a little bit, at least not to use for that day. Now congratulations, you bought yourself 24 hours. Now when tomorrow comes, around 5 p.m., reassess your urge and then Jedi mind trick yourself again and delay for another time period. And if possible, increase the time in between as you go, from one to three days, from now to a month, and so on. So keep practicing your delay skills and soon you'll find that your urges can be tricked and delayed pretty often. Decide after completing the thought. For most people, urges are actually incomplete thoughts. If you continue challenging and completing the thought, you can generate the emotional state that makes it easier to say no and reduce the urge. Think about the most negative consequences and unpleasant emotions that you experienced when you last used your crotch. Did you feel intense guilt after gambling away the rent? Did you feel shame when you lied about your act to your loved one? Did you feel worried about getting caught? Relive that memory. Generate those emotions when you experience the urge. Think through and play it forward. You should notice that the urge is reduced and you can keep focused on the things that you want to do. Now, when you get more advanced, you can actually build on this and think about the benefits when you overcome your addiction as well. So for some, it might sound a little bit like this. I feel like gambling, but the last time I gambled, I lost my paycheck, I felt miserable, I felt sick, and I was worried for a week, and I don't want to lose any more money, and I don't want to feel sick and miserable. I'm saving for a car and saying no to gambling now 
means I'll get that car at the end of the year. I've seen these skills work, but only with days and months of practice. It's also important to master all the skills and understand when they can be effective. So for example, I might use deep breathing as the Swiss army knife for your low level urges and emotions. Distracting yourself is useful when there's a time frame for the urge, such as driving past your usual gambling or drinking spots. So for people with porn and gaming problems, sometimes it's distracting themselves until the start of their sleep ritual or until their partner returns home from work. Delay then delay is useful for when those urges are lingering and building and they're more resistant to stay than usual. Delaying can often release just enough mental pressure to keep you fighting that urge. And I personally recommend practicing deciding after completing the thought because it proactively reduces the urge. And the benefit is that you get to productively use all those negative emotions from your adverse consequences that your problem has caused and literally reinforce the lessons that you learned from your problematic use. I've had clients say that it really beats down the urge and helps remind them why they're cutting back. I also like to think that skillfully using negative emotion and the memory of the consequence is extracting the maximum utility of your life experience to help you towards a meaningful life. And that's one damn good use of negative emotion. So the four Ds are your bread and butter toolkit for managing your urges. So I really hope you found this useful. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm Luke Fu, be kind, be you. Catch you next time.